Prime Minister Narendra Modi distributed around 51,000 appointment letters to newly inducted recruits via video conferencing today. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh called for collective efforts to deal with the complexities of Indo-Pacific and ensure a future marked by prosperity, security, inclusivity in the region. Pro-Canada activist Vatil Nagraj and his associates were detained at Raj Bhavan today when they went to stage a protest against the Karnataka government's move to release Kaveri water to Tamil Nadu. Taking a swipe at the BJP over AIA DMK walking out of the National Democratic Alliance, Rajya Sabha MP Kapil Sibyl said that another ally has left them and those still with them are opportunistic alliances with no ideological glue. Hundreds of students in Manipur's capital, Imphal, took to the streets today in protest against the brutal murder of two students, one a minor by suspected armed men, and demanded justice for the victims. An Indian Army personnel in Kerala's Kolam district was attacked by unidentified men who used paint to write PFI on his back. A police complaint has been filed. The Supreme Court noted that collegium proposals to appoint nine High Court judges and transfer 26 are pending with the central government. Heavy rain slashed the South Indian cities of Hyderabad and Chennai, while heavy downpours were reported in the Jubilee Hills and Banjara Hills areas of Hyderabad. The outskirts of Chennai was also inundated with torrential rains. The Sri Lanka and Bangladesh foreign ministers came down heavily against Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and backed Indian Khalistani issue. The Lankan minister also accused Trudeau of having a way of just coming out with some outrageous allegations without any supporting proof. A Pakistan special court extended the judicial remand of former Prime Minister Imran Khan for another 14 days in the Cypher case, blighting the chances of his early release. Separatist authorities in Nagorno Karabakh said that at least 20 people were killed and nearly 300 others injured by an explosion at a gas station. South Korea's president urged his troops to build an unwavering military spirit and train harder as he used an armed forces day speech to vow immediate retaliation against any potential provocation by North Korea.